Hi everyone, it's Miriam here. Sorry, I'm having internet issues today and totally froze right as I started my video live. So we're going with this old school approach to it all. Um, and today we are talking about uh, intelligent adjacency. So this is an interesting concept that actually comes from retail and my experience in retail. And I heard someone else talking about it recently um, and it prompted me to remember that this is the whole reason I do some of the things I do when I teach my clients how to get organized. So basically the concept is that if you use things together, keep them near each other. So in retail it is, you know, are all the kitchen items in the same area of the houseware store? Um, or is all the toothpaste and oral care things on the same aisle in in the um, drugstore? So that you start seeing groupings of things that you would use together. And it helps boost sales in the retail environment because you see that there's floss next to your toothpaste and you might pick up both at the same time, even if you may already have floss. So it, it's a double-edged sword. In the retail space, it might prompt you to buy a few too many things. In the home environment or the office environment where you're using it for productivity, it can be really great to have all the stuff you need together. Um, so think about it like kits. And various um, kits go with various activities. So if you are, let's say, um, let's just continue that toothpaste and floss example. If you need your toothpaste and floss to do your daily um, teeth care, have them in the bathroom where you would use your toothpaste, toothbrush, and um, uh, floss so that all that stuff is right there together. It also helps you see when you need to replace things and replenish things. So you want to think in terms of zones. What are you doing in this area and what do you need to do those things? And do these things need to be portable? So in the kitchen, I often set up a breakfast area um, and a coffee area or warm beverage area or maybe it's a drinks area depending on your lifestyle what things do you use and you might need together so instead of having the mugs by the glasses and the coffee pot on the other side of the room you have your mugs over the coffee pot and maybe your glasses stay by the refrigerator because you get water or soda most of the time so there's different ways of thinking about what you keep and where based on the activities and what you need to do those activities and if you need to take it on the road with you. So you have your toothbrush, toothpaste, flossing area in the bathroom. And if you need to go on a trip, you take that stuff and you put it in a toiletry bag and you take it on your trip. So you have all the stuff you need for your teeth. Um, so hopefully that helps you think things through a little bit in terms of where do I keep this stuff. A lot of times my clients have things stored by shape or size rather than activity or um, what it's used with. So that's something to think about. What is it that this item helps you accomplish and where is that going to go? Um, the other thing you might want to consider when thinking about this intelligent adjacency thing is also habits. What do you do right before that activity? What do you do right after that activity that you could maybe combine into something fun and exciting? Um, you know, if you um, wake up and you tend to work out right away, maybe you want to have everything you need for working out handier, um, set aside, clothes pulled uh, the night before. So when you get up, you don't have to think about it. You're just grabbing your running shoes and running out the door. So you can do things to set yourself up for success. Same thing with running errands. If you are going to be dropping the kids off at school and then can you go to the grocery store and the drug store and the dry cleaning on the way home? Or do you need to do all those things separately? Can you put them intelligently adjacent to each other so you get more done in less time and it's more effective and efficient? All right, so I hope this helps. Um, you know, it also helps when there's random stuff. So what do you do with this one piece of paper? Well, what is it about? What activity is it about? Does it make sense to have the instruction manual for the TV and the file cabinet with warranties and information when you are frustrated because the TV isn't working that day for whatever reason and you need to have access to that information? Maybe it makes more sense to keep the instructions for the TV in the TV media cabinet than in the file cabinet in the home office. See what I'm saying? So sometimes it's a matter of where's that random stuff go? How does this information of using things together, um, having them handy, if it needs to be portable, and what is it attached to? How can that help you streamline the way you live your life? 
and where you keep things and help you keep your clutter at bay. Anyway, for more information about this and other organizing topics and to keep in touch with me and about upcoming programs I might have, um, visit morethanorganized.net and you can sign up for um, information there or find the information you need. Um, anyway, thanks for dropping by. Sorry about the technical difficulties today. Still not sure why my internet isn't working on the computer, but on the phone it is. Don't know. It's weird. All right. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate your comments, telling people about it. Um, and I will see you again next Monday. Thanks. Take care.